Hello, this is Deborah Ngunda. I'm continuing my uh, series of videos, uh, 100 videos in um, 72 hours. So in the last video, I ended up uh, back in, if you're following the videos, then you should know where the story um, st started. Um, so I am now back in the U.S. after uh, losing one semester of school. And I had to stay out of school for another, probably another year, just working, 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 probably like 16 hours a day, seven days a week in order to, you know, to accumulate the funds necessary to go back to school. And I want to take this minute, this video, um, to dedicate this video to a lady called Margaret, Margaret Valence. Wow, I was walking, um, I was walking, man, I was working as a, I think a front desk clerk at one of um, the buildings in, in Washington DC and uh, met this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful soul. She ended up being like my second mother in the U.S. And um, she just, you know, first to begin with, um, she would ask me about how did we meet actually? She lived in the building and each time she came downstairs to collect her mail, I would be reading and writing. I would be reading something, reading a book and writing something. And then, so this day she came and she asked, um, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, I'm writing a book. And she said, you're writing a book? I said, yes. And she says, what are you writing about? I said, I'm writing, it's the story of my life. She said, really? I said, my life has been very interesting. I want to, <laughs> I want to write a book. And it was handwritten. I had ordered a book from New York with my name on it. The story of my life, Deborah Fringundam. And I was writing, um, handwritten. So she said, can I see? So she took the book and, and she looked at it. She didn't read it. And she's like, wow, that's interesting. So she started asking me about myself, you know, my story, you know, what got me here? What is it that I want to do? And stuff like that. And uh, this lady ended up helping me so much. My first car. She bought me my first car. Margaret Valence, wherever you are, she's going to be with the Lord. I want to thank you. She's my second mother. She bought me my first Toyota to sell. They don't make them like that anymore. I drove that car into the ground. And she, why did she buy me a car? Because she noticed that I was working uh, until midnight. This place was in DC and I was, I would leave DC at midnight and I lived in Maryland in Silver Spring. So she asked me, how do you get home? I'm like, well, I, t I take the bus. And I took two buses to get, to get home. So I would leave work at midnight and I wouldn't get home until like 2 a.m. And she says, you mean you are in the bus for two hours at night all by yourself? Oh, poor thing. No, don't do that. And I'm like, Miss Valence, I have to do this because I want to go back to school. So she said, okay. So one day she called me and she said, how much would it cost to buy a car? I didn't know she was asking for me because this was like several, maybe weeks later. What would it cost to buy a car? So I was researching a car thinking that I was looking for her. And guess what? She ended up giving me the money to buy.